hello YouTube I'm back again with another tutorial for you guys I'm really sorry I've been working on a mobile game so I haven't had time to record a tutorial but today we're gonna be working on this tutorial on how to tear a clothes in 3dx max I posted a demo video a while ago and a lot of people have actually requested this tutorial so I decided to make it okay so this is what it is um, I animated this character very short animation and I didn't even focus on polishing at all I just did something to demonstrate this tutorial so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a plane um, a rectangle by the way then I'm going to add a garment maker modifier so I'm going to create this by just um, since I have this here because I want it to be in the same position I'm just going to switch on auto grid then click and drag so I'll just draw it to fit this size then I'll release then I'll hide this I don't need this for now then I'll select this add my garment maker modifier on it so I go on select garment maker now I have the cloth this um, this face is actually the best for simulating cloth so far with my experience in 3dx max yours might be different but I kind of prefer this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at the um, areas that this sword is gonna go through like okay so I'll select them and I'll select them then I'll add my tessellate modifier just go to your modify list and press T and select tessellate right here and immediately just tessellate it for you and it adds more it like subdivides that particular set of polygons you selected so so you can just go increase it to two or something so I just leave it at one for now because I don't want to slow down my computer then I'll right click on this again and collapse all so by the time I collapse all now we have it in one piece no modifier on top of me so we can name this um, cloth rectangle whatever but I'll leave it as rectangle so now I'll dial my animation back and quickly add my cloth modifier to this so I add my cloth modifier then go to properties then um, on properties I'll select my rectangle set it to cloth um, cotton add objects now I need to add the sword and the ground plane so I add the ground plane to it make that a collision object but I something in 3dx max after you had the rectangle at times it just bounces back you can see now it needs to be a cloth then it just keeps changing okay so this I need to add it again so at times you need to do it twice to get it right I don't know why it happens that way I think it's a bug or something so now you can see my um, BIP probe that's the sword is a collision object and now I need to set it to cut cloth so you can actually let's switch it off for now and see how it works okay so on my cloth I have this settings I did on the pre in the previous tutorial so I just use that I'll open so look at the settings I had a lot of v-stretch my v-stretch is 400 400 400 so you can just look at the settings and duplicate it as well use it in your own so now that this is set I just click OK I'll do a simulate local and you can see what happened the cloth fell down because it's not pinned so we need to go to cloth this we need to click this plus sign right here go to group go to group then select the parts that uh, we want to work on so I'll select this part I'll just shrink it a little bit I'll shrink it a little bit like this then um, I'll make it here just click make it here and OK so automatically it just gives you this group 001 weld in bracket then you select the hedges because you want to pin it more like a pole is holding it down so select the hedges like this but I, I did that by holding control because I select that one part and I hold out control I press down the control button and um, I was able to select the other together so now with that selected I'll just click preserve oh sorry about that I made a mistake so I'll just go to um, I'll do that again I'll do that again select um, okay my max is angle now okay I need to pause the video and come back again okay now I'm back um, 
don't know what happened to my 3D Max, it just crashed. Okay, so I'll select this edge and select this edge. Then um, let me select some more parts here, some more vertices here. So I'll select these vertices at the edge, then put it that way. So I'll click make group, then press OK. Then now that it's unassigned, what I need to do is click preserve. So now it's now assigned. The group is now assigned as a preserved group. And this is assigned as a weld group. So this this is the, the one I want to tear this part. And this part, the one at the edges, I want I want them to be stuck to the air. Like okay, so to make that more to make more sense with that, so I'll just click it. I'll create a a cylinder right here. I'll drag it up. Just to um, give you that feel that it's, a, it's actually a pole holding the cloth together. Okay, so I'll make it. Um, okay, let's increase this, increase the height. So I'll duplicate it to the other side. I'll bring this forward a bit. Then, like that. Then what I should do to these guys, um, I'll go I'll click the cloth, go back to properties, then s bring them in as a, a collision object so they don't just stand there. Although that doesn't matter though, but collision objects. We'll go back to cross check. Okay, this happens every time. This plane should be a collision object this should be a collision object and this should be the rectangle should be the cloth then I'll load my cloth beside like I did before I have to reload my 3 dx Max so I lost most of the things I did before so now that this is set as a collision that's a sword this is set as collision object the ground plane and this so this is the only cloth material we have there so I'll click OK and now we can test it so before I test it I want to simulate local just to give it a cloth fill before we go that far so now we have a cloth fill goes down now I'm gonna make that set that as my initial stage initial state so I'll click that initial state right here then right away I can now click this simulate with progress you have this progress check mark in front of it so just check it and click simulate. So um, immediately our character jumps up and try to cut the cloth into two. And you can see what happens. This is the problem with simulation. It happens every time it simulates. Now it works and the other time. So I think I need to tweak my settings a bit. What I need to do now is um, go to erase simulation or erase this simulation because I don't want it. So now I click my, I'll go to cloth, I'll select my sword and make it cut cloth. Click OK. Now let's try it again. Simulate. So this should work. That's it. So now we now have ourselves, uh, and that should be all in this tutorial. So that's just a quick tip on how to cut cloth in 3DX Max. Um, I don't know what you want to do with that and why you want to cut cloth into two, but whichever way is how it goes, that's how you get it done. And um, the last thing I need to show you is you can select your cloth and scroll down and click create keys. Let me just go back to the first frame, create keys. Yes, so it just creates the keys for you and you don't have to use cloth modifier anymore because now it has been baked into the mesh. You can see that. Isn't that lovely? I love 3 the X Max. So guys, um if you like this, give me a sh give me a thumbs up below. Um if you feel there is a way to make this better, you can drop a comment as well. I really appreciate that. And um if you want more tutorials, I like feel like um you have specific tutorials that you want to tackle things that you are issues you have just let me know okay so right now I need to go and play battlefield <laughs> so I'll see you guys next week same time bye